If you are looking for the best Vivo phones 2022, you are in the right place. We have tried to include in-depth information on Vivo phones 2022 in our video, which will be enough to fulfill all of your needs. All of them are maintaining their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturer, and real customer feedback. If you want to buy a Vivo phones 2022, we think this list will be very worthy to you. Now, let's get started with the video. At the first position of our list, we have Vivo X60 Pro. The X60 Pro is the only member of the X60 series officially launching in the UK and Europe. But it's good enough that we're not complaining. This is one of the thinnest, lightest flagship phones of the year and features a flawless frosted glass finish. The 6.56 in 120 HE AMOLED display is gorgeous, and the Snapdragon 870 processor is more than enough for most, albeit not quite the best around. The real strength, other than the design, is the Zeiss branded triple camera, a gimbal stabilized main lens, ultra wide, and two zoom portrait lens. They're enough to make this one of the best camera phones around this year. The only real downsides here are the lack of wireless charging and waterproofing, but if you won't miss them, then the X60 Pro is a great choice, and hands down Vivo's best in the West. Moving on to the next at number two with Vivo X70 Pro. The X70 Pro is an only slightly stripped back alternative to the Pro Plus, but still plenty powerful and also unavailable outside Asia. You won't get the wireless charging or IP rating, and the display is smaller and lower in resolution. It's also capped at the Dimensity 1200 chipset, though it is a custom version for Vivo. What you'll still get is a fantastic quad rear camera with most of the same specs as the Pro Plus model. You also get an improved design with a slimmer body lighter weight, and no odd reflective ceramic window next to the camera. The number three position is held by Vivo X70 Pro Plus. The X70 Pro Plus is a statement phone from Vivo, which takes everything that made the X60 Pro Plus great and fixes most of its flaws. That makes it all the stranger that it isn't available in Europe, though it is at least on sale across Asia. Specs here are top across the board. Snapdragon 888 Plus chip up to 12 GB RAM and 512 GB storage, a 128 sheet WQHD plus AMOLED display, and 55 W fast charging. There are Vivo First 2 with both wireless charging and an i68 rating now supported for the first time. Really, it's all about the camera though, which is inarguably one of the best in any phone right now. The four rear lenses are all fantastic and all have OIS to boot, especially in low light. This is a night photography beast rivaled only by the Pixel 6 Pro. Next at number 4, we have Vivo V21. The V21 is the latest phone we've reviewed in Vivo's selfie-focused V-series. It's since been followed up by the V23 and V23 Pro. But they're not yet available worldwide, and we're still in the process of reviewing them. The V21 is a real winner, though. It's the first phone to offer optical image stabilization, OIS on the selfie camera, which means you'll get crisper selfies, more stable vlogs, and improved low-light performance. It's also a beautiful, slim, and light phone, and if you're in Europe, you'll be able to buy it running Vivo simpler European software. The only real downsides are that the great selfie shooter is let down by a good but not great rear camera. And the chipset powering the phone is a bit budget good enough for day-to-day -day use, but not enough for gaming or power users. The number 5 position is held by Vivo iQ7 Legend. If you can forgive the silly name, the iQ7 Legend is by far the Vivo phone that will offer you the best bang for your buck. It's not quite as powerful as the top-tier X70 Pro Plus, but with a Snapdragon 888, it's not far off and it's a fraction of the price. That makes it Vivo's best offering for gamers or anyone else focused on pure performance. The BMW-esque racing stripe design runs the risk of dividing opinion, but it's certainly a catching. You'll just have to put up with a rather small 4000 mAh battery and a triple rear camera that's certainly not bad, but it's in Vivo's best. The number 6 position is, is dominated by Vivo X60 Pro Plus. The leather-coated X60 Pro Plus was Vivo's most powerful phone until the X70 Pro Plus came along. Though unfortunately it's only available in China and India so buyers elsewhere will have to import. This is a photography flagship, boasting a camera spec that wouldn't be out of place in an ultra-class phone from other brands. A 50MP main lens, 
48 MP gimbal stabilized ultra wide, 32 MP tuk zoom, and 8 MP 5X periscope. The X70 Pro Plus has since pipped it, but not by much. This camera is still stunning. You get all of that for a lot less than you might elsewhere, but only because Vivo has skipped luxuries like wireless charging, an IP rating, or stereo speakers, though internal specs are top notch, with a Snapdragon 888 at its heart. Bear in mind that while the Chinese version of the phone runs Vivo's new Origin OS, the Indian model instead runs the company's older Funtouch OS software. Moving on to the next and number 7 with Vivo V23 Pro. The Vivo V23 Pro is an odd follow-up to the V21. No, there wasn't ever a V22. And no, we don't know why either that ditches its key feature. Instead of an OIS selfie camera, here you'll find two non-OIS cameras on the phone's front. The 50MP main selfie camera is great in good light. But without optical stabilization, it lags behind the V21 at night and the lower resolution ultra-wide is merely okay. Fast charging, a powerful processor, and a slick color-changing design help sell the Vivo V23 Pro, which is a pretty well-rounded phone overall, but given the choice, we'd still take the older V21. The number 8 position is held by Vivo iQ75 G. The iQ75 G is part of the same range as the iQ7 Legend above, but is a cheaper and slightly less powerful option. With that in mind, the iQ75 G offers a Snapdragon 875 G with up to 12 GB of RAM, backed up by a 4,400 mAh battery with 66 W fast charging, which power a 6.62 in 128G AMOLED display. The cameras aren't Vivo's best, but they're not bad. The 48 MP main camera is a winner, and Vivo's excellent night mode software shines here. For the price, this is a lot of power though, note that this is one of Vivo's phones that hasn't had a global launch, but you can buy it from China or India. Next at number 9 we have Vivo V23. The V23 is very similar to the V23 Pro, and shares most of that phone's strengths and weaknesses. It's a little cheaper, but for that you get a weaker chipset and a lower resolution rear camera though the 64MP shooter here isn't bad. The design is also tweaked with square edges that invoke the iPhone rather than the curved body of the Pro. The selfie camera is exactly the same, at least, but once again it's good, but not quite good enough. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Vivo X51. Vivo's first true offering in Western markets was the Vivo X51, and it's still a great choice for many even if it's essentially simply a rebranded take on the Asian X50 Pro. Its main hook is a gimbal-stabilized main camera and a competent 5G-capable Snapdragon 765G chipset. Competition in this premium, mid-range space is particularly hot, and the price is the only drawback, making this device worth it only if you can find it at a discount, which shouldn't be too hard now that it's a year old. That's all for today. All the product links in the description down below. We upload videos every single day, so... Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.